Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Ansible Vault to protect secrets. This video is part of a series. It will make a lot more sense if you watch the playlist in order. We make sure we're in our working directory. We create a new vault using the Ansible Vault Create command, giving the file name of the vault. We're asked to supply a new password and confirm it. We are then switched to an editor, in this case Vi. We enter a name value pair for one or more secrets. We then escape WQ to write and quit. This takes us back to the command prompt. If we cat the vault, we can see it's an Ansible vault encrypted with AES256. We can't see the key value data. To view the contents of the vault, we use the Ansible vault view command. We're prompted for the vault password and the data is displayed. We can edit an existing vault using the Ansible vault edit command. We enter the vault password and we're taken back to the editor. We add a new key value pair and exit out of the editor. If we view the vault contents, we see both key pair values. We can also encrypt existing files. We have a file called myvault2yaml containing some key value pairs. We use Ansible Vault Encrypt to encrypt the file. We're prompted for a new password and confirmation, and the file is successfully encrypted. As expected, if we cat the file, we see the contents are indeed encrypted. We can view the contents of the vault in the same way we did before. We can decrypt an existing wallet using the Ansible Vault Decrypt command. We're prompted for the vault password and the file is decrypted. The contents are clearly visible again. This playbook targets the hosts in the databases group. It has a single task using the debug module to display the value of a variable. Remember, if something is a secret, it's silly to debug it like this, but it suits the purpose of this test. We run the playbook, and we see the variable we tried to debug is not defined. We didn't tell the playbook about the vault. This time we use the minus E flag to reference the vault file, and use the ask vault pass flag so we are prompted for the password. Once we enter the password, we see the correct value is displayed in the debug output. This playbook is similar to the last one, but this time we reference the vault using the vars files entry. When we run it, we no longer need to use the minus E flag to reference the vault file, but we still need the ask vault pass flag. Once again, the secret is referenced correctly. Ansible Vault is a really handy way to store secrets, assuming you don't have access to an alternate secret store. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.